everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and in this video we're going to do the daily quests, find the season candles, get information on the shard event, and find the candle cakes. And we have a double seasonal candle event on right now, which means we'll be able to find eight of these little seasonal candle clusters instead of the normal four. And collecting all eight should give us two total season candles. So we have two up top, and the rest are all below. Now that we're down here, we should have six more where we have to find. One is over by this exit to the bird's nest. Oop. And the rest are all around here. We have one over by the exit to the prairie village. We have two around this muffin rock here. One is behind and one is inside of the rock itself. We have one on top of that cave where you can find a winged light. Just over here. And the last one is over there by that uh, cave exit. Right here, and one more over here. And that is all eight season candles to find today. Again, collecting all of them should give us two total season candles. All right, with those bound, let's get started on today's daily quests. To sit at a bench with a stranger, all you have to do is find a bench and sit down with an unlit sky kid. This can be done in any realm. It doesn't have to be done in the Vault of Knowledge, but I'm doing it here. The light can be found flying around the butterfly fields in the first area of the Daylight Prairie. To relive a spirit's memory, we first must relive any spirit at all in the Daylight Prairie. It doesn't have to specifically be this one. We then have to light them, watch their cutscene, and collect their emote. The cozy hideout can be found in the prairie caves all the way up on the right hand side. We have this little area here, we're just going to go all the way in the back. There's a new secret hollowed out cave area. Make our way through and we will find one of the coziest spots in the game in my opinion. Our daily rotating treasure candles can be found in the hidden forest today. Our first one is in the social space, and the next is in the next area, the forest brook at the very end. Don't get stuck on the mushrooms like I did. Let me out! In the next area, once again, the broken bridge, we can find our third under the first part of the broken bridge. And then our fourth and final one can be found in the sunny forest. I'm just going to fly there in case people are a bit confused. We just turn around and fly through these tree roots and this will bring us to the sunny forest. Then once we're in, we are just going to go to the very first gazebo and our last treasure cake is here. Today's shard event takes place in the Daylight Prairie. We can find it in the Prairie Village, and it is a black shard, so that means we'll get regular candles for completing it. So we're gonna head over here, and this area is the village. So as far as I'm aware, there are two places it can potentially land. One being over by this spirit here, the Wave Spirit, on this far middle island. The second location is all the way up in front of the Prairie Temple, so all the way up here. The shard times should be on the screen now. This is in PDT or PST time. If you want to convert it into your own time zone and you're struggling, I do have a link in the description so you can convert it into your own. And I have the times listed there as well. So yes, just a black shard awards regular candles. It should be relatively easy because it's in Prairie. Good luck with today's shard event. 
And that is all of today's daily changes in the Daylight Prairie. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I will of course see you in the next video. Bye bye.